Today, I bought another epic Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection purchase, but first let's just get into our giveaway right away. We're giving away a Magi Magi Magician Gal or whatever it's called. It's an OCG, it's never been printed in the TCG because they don't want to alter the art and you know, there's some art issues I guess with the TCG. So all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about this collection. There's a little bit of a mix of singles and sealed product in this one, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's start off with a few blisters that we got. We have Legendary Duelist Sisters of the Rose first edition. So this isn't the craziest Legendary Duelist set, but it's pretty old at this point. So pretty cool to see that. We have a King's Court First Edition, which does have some pretty good collector rares and the God cards, of course. So also really cool. A Shadows in Valhalla. This is like Valkyries and stuff. I think there's a few good reprints in here as well. So not like a terrible pack. And then Ancient Duelist or <laughs> Legendary Duelist Ancient Millennium. The Ancient Duelist. This is like the second one ever, I think. This box was crazy expensive until they did the Legendary Duelist reprint set. Now they're a lot less, but still... Pretty solid pack. One of the best Legendary Duelists to ever come out. So really, really cool there. We have more sealed stuff. Legendary Collection 2, the Duel Academy years. We have not one, but four of these. So four Legendary Collection 2s. We're probably going to be opening these in a future video. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do because we've already done like a five box opening of this. So probably wouldn't just open those. Maybe we'll have something to like do a versus battle against. Maybe another Legendary Collection or something like that. But these are like really fun to open. So I love to pick these up. So this is pretty awesome. We have four of these in total. Then we have another pretty cool sealed product. Speed Duel GX Duel Academy box. This is pretty recent, but pretty awesome product because it has those secret rares, you know, from GX and stuff like that that are really, really nice. So a pretty cool product because it's like got a bunch of basically the whole Speed Duel update for the entire year is here. I think they're doing one more Speed Duel product before the end of the year, but this is it for now, like for the entire year. We also have a binder here that I'm going to unwrap real quick. Let's see. I don't know if there's actually anything in here or not. I can't really remember, but it's one of those original Yugi binders. Actually seems to be in pretty nice condition for the most part I and mean, there's a little bit of scratching on it but usually these are pretty bad let's see the pages are where it gets you know really tells you if it's old if there's like dirt in the pages oh so there's actually some cards in here so crystal beast sapphire pegasus is actually a pretty cool card the promo coming out because you know crystal beasts are getting big now this is actually wait on the second page i was like why is this so foggy uh gladder beast Darius. we got the ubel so this is a bunch of legendary collection gx so it looks like he opened some of that himself we've got avian the alternate art we've got terra firma we've got the tempest all these have like a couple dollar value which isn't bad we've got the blue eyes jet which is dope uh the red eyes darkness metal is always a great card alternative red unfortunately dasher is no longer worth too much but it used to be here's legendary duelist stuff so it looks like he opened the legendary duelist pegasus stuff himself because these are the no this is season one so you can get this in the peg no this might actually be the first one never mind i take that back we have a red eyes common and the beautiful red eyes black dragon gold rare you love to see that guy pretty amazing Okay, we've got some nice stuff here. Like, I remember when I didn't even know this was in Yugi's World and we pulled it. The Secret Rare Dark Magician, that's pretty beautiful. The Legendary Collection 1 Classic version, um, you know, that's pretty common. But then we have two gold first edition from Premium Gold Dark Magician Girls. That's really cool. Those are like probably have $20, $30 value at least. Then a couple of the classic Dark Magicians. That's a really nice card. I always love that artwork. And I think that's it. So not a lot in this binder, but like in terms of like number of cards, but a lot of solid cards in there. So I'd say pretty decent value in there too. Now we're on to the heavy hitting stuff we have a sealed joey i keep wanting to say legendary collection joey's world i probably because of those legendary collections but a sealed 2003 joey tin with gia free the iron knight on it so it has five original packs i'm probably going to be opening this one up for myself at some point because we have not opened a lot of these for me like recently you know there's a, there's a good reason they're pretty tough you know to get your money back but every once in a while you got to dip back into the nostalgia pool open one of these up and have a little bit of fun so this is one of the cheaper ones from 2003 so it's a good one to open because like you know if you open jinzo it's like 500 600 bucks stuff like that this one's probably more like 300 so maybe two even 250 i don't know this one's a lot cheaper so let's see if we can uh you know do this in a future video i'm pretty excited for that we got the first five packs in Yu-Gi-Oh. of course the gear free you know actual promo it's probably going to be scuffed up but there's always the dream that it's a psa 10 caliber one that'd be pretty sick but don't worry that's not all we have the vorse raider 10 and yes i was going to keep one of these sealed for myself because i always love the vorse raider 10 and then i opened my other one so maybe this could replace it even though i did open my cyber dragon tin for that what was it five versus five hundred dollar tin video go check it out not a lot a lot of people watch that one and that was a pretty expensive video so go check it out there's also a big giveaway in that one we got the vorse raider 10 really beautiful one of the classic ones that i love i think this was 2005 so 
Pretty cool to see this. Same year as Dark Magician Girl. Not quite as expensive as that one, though. And the final tin we have, this is not all for the, the box, just for the tins. We have Ravael, Lord of Phantasms. Very awesome. 2006 tin, I believe. Let's see. It says back here. Yeah, and this is Wave. First launch. Second launch had Haman or Uriah. So this was with Ravael, Cyber Dragon, and Elemental Hero Neo. So the first wave was pretty awesome. And you get those two Cybernetic Revolution, one Elemental Energy, one Shot of Infinity, and one Enemy of Justice in those. And you get, of course, Ravael himself, which is a very cool looking card. Now, I'm, I don't know if like this is a popular opinion, but they always say these are like knockoff God cards, but I think the design on these, honestly, some of them might be cooler than some of the God cards. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Like if you compare Slifer versus Uriah, I think that they're pretty equal in terms of design. I think they both look pretty pretty amazing so i don't know about you guys and i think he looks equally as good as obelisk Haman and Ra, I don't really like Raw in the first place. Haman's probably the same way. So this is also probably going to get opened. So we might be opening this at some point soon. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to be a fun opening as well. And now we're down to a few like graded and high end cards. We have a couple of graded cards here. I don't know what they are. Let's see what the first one is. We have PSA 8. This is from the 2003 10s. Dark Magician Secret Rare. So as you guys can see, you know, classically hard to grade. I don't know if it had scuffing on the back or what, but a Dark Magician PSA 8. Very, very cool. What's the other one? Will it be something epic? Ooh, a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Is this Spell Ruler? Yes, yeah, Spell Ruler, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Also an eight, okay. So we got a couple of eights in your mint to mint condition, but graded cards nonetheless. Those are pretty cool. And there's still a few uh, high-end singles as well. The first one we have is... Oh, okay, high end. Let's take that back. Eye of Tamias himself, EX Gamer. This one's for you. Eye of Tamias, your favorite card. There it is, Ghost Rare. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. What else we got in here? Wing Dragon Ross Fear Mode. So it looks like we got some Ghost Rares from Ghosts from the Past. Uh, yeah, these are the ones that uh, you don't really. Actually, this is actually not that bad of a Ghost Rare. I have to my is the one you don't want to pull though. Three to go. Let's see. We have a ooh, red eyes. Okay. Red eyes B Dragon this is the one that took us 13 cases to pull. Looks like his nose got cut off on this one as well. Super weird how like they have the artwork shifted. Like, you know, there's shifting on the foil, shifts the artwork as well. So like then your nose gets cut off if you're red eyes. Poor guy probably can't breathe at all. It's pretty rough, dude. He's got, that's why he's a mouth He's like this. <gasps> okay. <laughs> It's true, though. It's true. Two cards to go. We have a Ghost Rare Red Eyes, or not Red Eyes, Majestic Red Dragon First Edition. Ooh. Okay. Absolute Power Force First Edition Majestic Red. That's pretty sick, because that's, like, actually a really old Ghost Rare. And, like, those old Ghost Rares, look how they shine compared to the new ones. So, we can shine this one super easy. This one, look at this. Look how dull it is. Like, I still like the new Ghost Rares, but the old ones, they just pop more. You guys see this? Look at this craziness. Them colors are nuts. I hope they bring that back for Ghost of the Past 3, which we, we might not even get, but hopefully we do. Here's the final card of the collection. It's another Majestic Red Dragon. It's an unlimited version, which even this one is popping off real nice. Check that out. Yes. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay. And because this is a shorter video, we're probably going to do a quick open. I think we're going to open up all these four blisters because we might as well. I mean, it's a few packs. You know, we've, had, we've got a decent length video going here, but... We definitely want it to be a little bit longer so you guys, you know, I know a lot of you guys, when I make a short video, you guys, especially the vlogs, you're like, only one complaint, too short. <laughs> it's like 12 minutes, so I was like, dang, all right, I'll do what I can. Legendary Duel Sisters of the Rose. All right, let's see if we can pull something crazy here. What can be in Sisters of the Rose? I really don't know. I think there's one card that was really good, but it obviously got a reprint in Season 1, so I don't know, like, what's crazy. Machine Angel Ritual, that's a pretty epic card if you like old Duel Links, huh? Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede, that's a super rare. And we got the Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Pretty cool artwork on this, but yeah, I've never even heard of that card, so I'm guessing it's not very good. Next, let's do Legendary Duel Sisters of the Rose. Number two, Numero Dos. We have Night Express Knight. Get it? Okay, get it. Elegant Egotist. Lunalite Panther Dancer. This card, I think, was actually crazy in Duel Links for a little bit. Black Rose Dragon, just a common. Okay, and... Cyber Egg Angel. And yeah, I've, Cyber Egg Angel. I don't remember this. When this card is summoned, add one Machine Angel spell or one Ritual Sanctuary from your deck to your hand. Okay, never heard of that card. That's kind of weird. I also forgot those are not guaranteed foils. So getting a super was actually pretty good the first time. Next, let's do this King's Court pack. I like, guys, you will not believe the amount of like cuts I've made in this video because I just can't talk today. It's really bad. And by me, I mean the editors. They've had to cut out me doing stuff like that, dropping the pack. I said King's Corpse, by the way. I was like, here's the next King's Corpse pack. Let's see what we can get. That is not what this is. We got a Majestic Dragon. Crazy uh, super rare for a while. It's like 10 bucks. ZW Ultimate Shield. Cloud Castle, a nice uh, Synchro 9. We got the Converging Wishes. 
rescue rabbit there he is wait does this mean we got something or is it always at the end because some of the ones that's like you get it on the third or the last you know collector rare packs are weird okay the placement of the foils are crazy arcane extra joker okay and hyper galaxy so it is a foil this could be collector rare because it always looks like a collector rare for me like for some reason i don't know why but just a super rare that is guaranteed though. all right two blisters left i think we're gonna go with shadows and valhalla because i know less about this set i think it's a five card set it's like a side set where there's like some nice reprints of older cards in it so let's see what we can get here we have let's see five cards per pack yeah i think this was a 2017 set maybe i can't really remember secret rare could be at the front for this so i'm just gonna do a quick one pack trick just to be sure we don't hit it right at the beginning armor ninjutsu art of rust mist valkyrie zuete Elemental Hero Magma Neos. So it's either the next card or the card after that. Not totally sure. Magma Neos is reprinted in here, which is pretty cool. Tactical Evolution Secret Rare, formerly. And... Oh, the GOAT! How could I forget that the GOAT is in here? Alistair, the Invoker, Secret Rare. Yes, that's a pull we've been looking for. All right. He's only like five bucks, maybe, but... Even that, dude, this is epic. Look at that pull. I totally forgot that was in there. I should have known that, honestly, from auction series. All right, next one, That was that's a dope pull. That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about that. Next up, Pegasus, the final two packs we're gonna open in this video. Let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed seeing these collections, if you wanna see me when I purchase more, stuff like that, and if you wanna see those tins open, those old school tins, uh, or the legendary collections. We could probably make that happen. Two Legendary Duelists Ancient Millennium First Edition. We can get that Thousand Eyes stuff. We can get that... Uh, what else is in here besides the thousand? I guess some tune stuff, right? Don't really remember. VWXYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. I opened one of these boxes, actually, one of the very first openings on my channel. The first opening was actually Legendary Duelist 1. Legendary Duelist of this one, I pre-ordered for $48. The boxes got up to like $300. I should have kept it sealed, but, you know, it was a fun video. <laughs> ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. What I hate about these Ancient Gear Golems is they all say Ultimate on them. So when you search Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate on TCG Player, it brings up all these random cards instead of the Ultimate Rare version. It's very annoying relinquished oh a common all right very cool what's up next will it be at something insane vortex trooper so no will not be something insane and then oj oj simulation oj 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 okay pretty cool cards i like the ojama stuff it's very weird though like it was pretty cool in duelings for like a couple of like maybe minutes i don't know not very long final pack guys legendary duelist ancient millennium let's see what we can pull hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content let's go gear golem Pen Chopper. We got the Panzer Dragon himself. This is actually a pretty crazy card in certain situations. And Heavy Metal Raiders. We got a super rare. Let's go. We did it. And it's Metal Raiders. My favorite set, sort of. And then the Corrosive Scales. So not a bad way to end it. I'm still super happy about Alistair. Out of only like one pack, you know, not bad at all. We'll take that. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys enjoy these videos. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Chill, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Untai Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.